being wanted. This is your favorite reporter, Holly Fletcher, reporting with your daily evening news. Coming to you live from our downtown stage, this is JMSK News. Recently, our great city has been undergoing some serious change. Our landowners have just discovered some new methods of cultivating advanced crops like the potato. They've also gotten more efficient at the raising of livestock. Unfortunately, these experiments are only possible by creating enclosure movements that take the common lands of farmers across the city. These farmers are now jobless and homeless, desperately looking for work. Anyway, that's all we have for tonight's news. This is Holly Fletcher signing off. <sighs> Finally at home. I can relax and take the day off and not have to go to work and just get away from all the stress. Great job, Holly. Perfect execution, as always. Now I have some big news. What is it, boss? I'm firing everybody, the whole reporting team, except you, of course. What do you, why on earth would you fire the whole team? What are we gonna do without reporters? Reporters with torters. View ratings have been steadily dropping. Do you know why? Because we're boring and accurate. We need action, drama, and mystery. I was just gonna have Jack, Jackie report on Josiah Wedgwood and his use of the division of labor. It's led to mass production, which is revolutionizing the produ production of, well, everything. I've never heard of someone producing so much so quickly. What are we going to do about the facts like these? Yeah, well, I'm sure this will all come together. I'll see you early tomorrow morning. Our uh, new personalities will be here first thing, so do your best to make sure they feel at home. <sighs> Whatever you say, boss. This is going to be great. Good morning, London. This is Holly Fletcher reporting bright and early. Things are going to be a little different here around the JMSK station, but one thing that hasn't changed is our commitment to finding the truth. This year, the National Invention Convention weekend is being hosted in our very own city. We have one of our new investigative reporters, Reese Langley, on the scene. Actually, Reese is just a cover name. No one has known my true identity since my first mission back in high school. Since then, I've lived a life of intensity and danger. Nothing is certain, and I can never be prepared for what may come next. Sorry to interrupt, but can we please continue with the news? What do you see down where you are, Reese? Of course, of course. I'm here at the scene of the so-called oh, yeah. Invention Convention. All of the great inventors of our time have been invited. I can easily spot a few names. Arkwright, Whitney, Morse, Watt. Just to name a few. If, I'll see if I can get a closer look at some of these guys, but you never know what could happen in an event like this. An, in an Invention Convention? What could a bunch of inventors possibly do to you? could invent a death ray whose only function is to vaporize the entire world. Always expect the unexpected. That's what got me through one of the most dangerous missions in Russia. It was a dark, cold, and stormy night. I was down to my last thin mint in my food reserves and... Can I ask a question, Reese? Of course, Holly. Why are you whispering? Would you rather I reveal my position to the public? For this mission to succeed, it must be done in absolute secret. Even the slightest change in volume could blow the entire thing. Okay, Reese. Then we're on the same page. What were we talking about? Science convention. Yes, of course. Well, from the information that I've gathered, the first major invention to come along was the steam engine created by James Watt. This is a huge deal, not only in the scientific community, but also in the industrial world, and it is becoming a very practical and reliable source of energy. Today, the steam engine is beginning to be used in nearly all new inventions, from manufacturing tools to railroads, making production faster and easier. I'll see if I can get a closer look at some of the other scientists, but I'm not ready to risk it right now. Back to you, Holly. Uh, thanks, Reese. We'll be hearing more about the Invention Convention later. Here's a look at what's happening in our town today. We have reporter Tanya Bravo at the scene of a normal middle-class neighborhood. Tanya? Hi, Holly. Here I am in a normal middle-class neighborhood. Let me knock on a few doors and see what they're up to. Hello, miss. I'm Tanya Bravo from the JMSK News. I'd like to ask you a few questions about your life. Uh, sure. Okay. What do you want to know? Where, when were you born? Who were your parents? Where were you born? Any siblings? Did you have a happy childhood? What's your social security number? Tanya, that's not what I meant. What? I asked about her life. It's not my fault her childhood was awful. The viewers don't want to know about the details of her past. They want to know about her daily life. Are you sure? Seems pretty boring to me. Even if that's not what they want to see, it's what we have to report on. So here's what to ask. What do you do for a living? Who has more authority at your home, husband or wife? Where do you spend more, time, more of your time, at home or in town? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Good. Now try again. 
Hello, miss. I'm Tanya Bravo from the JAMSK News. What do you do for a living? Oh, uh, hi. My job? Well, I sew at home from the products that my husband sells at local stores. Who has more authority in your house? You or your husband? Well, I'd say it's about equal. We both work to support our family, and we both help out around the house. Is this going to be on the news? Hey, kids, get over here! We're going to be famous! Where do you spend most of your time? At home or in town? Mm, probably at home. Although sometimes I accompany my husband downtown to help sell our textiles. Would you like to come inside? I'm sure you have many more questions. Come, okay, goodbye. Come. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. See you in the news. Bye. How was that, Holly? Today I've stumbled upon a unique creature. A man. If you look over there by the waiting crowd, you can see it preparing to deliver a speech. It appears to be important. Uh, let's see if we can get a closer look. Oh, shush, 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 shush. You don't want to scare it off. It's about to do its routine free speech cough. Mayors are known to sh show a little nervousness before delivering a speech. <coughs> Hello, citizens of London. Our British land is in a great state right now. The government is stable, our people are at peace, and agriculture is doing well. We have plenty of natural resources. Not only that, but we also lead Europe in technology and transportation, and we are the leading exporters of essential goods like tools, guns, and hardware. Our ships are like no other in the world, and our economy is ever growing. All right, see you right here. Woo! Woo! Go, Mayor! Hey, see right here. This mayor's stance is adjusting. I think it has something important that it wants to express. It. Let's see. What are we going to do about the clear advantages over the rest of the world? At the moment, nothing. Letting all of these opportunities go to waste. Well, no longer. At this moment, I, as the mayor of London, institute a plan of change. I will build this nation from the ground up, creating jobs, becoming more efficient and productive, growing industries, changing the world. I call it an industrial transformation, an industrial shift, an industrial revolution. of his species. A traditional sign of approval for a human is to bring its hands together uh, in an excited movement causing a sound to resonate. This really is a common phenomenon also seen in other animals such as monkeys, dolphins, and Shamu the whale. Oh my, thanks Grady. Anytime, Holly. Well, that was some pretty big news. Who knows what a plan like that can do to a nation. Let's check back in with Reese Langley down at the Invention Convention. I've just got close to one of the main inventors here, Richard Let's see what he has to say under pressure. Hello, Mr. Arkwright, is it? Or do you go by Richard? I actually prefer Rich because how wealthy I am. Oh, wealthy are you? How'd you get this money, Rich? Well, it all started when I vented the water frame. This machine spins thread way better than the spinning jenny. It uses water as a power source and it makes cotton threads like no other. To make money, I built factories all over the place, producing textiles faster and more efficiently than ever before. I made millions in the most important industry in the nation. Hmm, I see. One final question for you, Rich. What is that? Tell me who you're working for! Technically, that's not a question. Security! Security! Nice Security. try, Let's go. Let's go. You Let's go. Me? Let's go. Let's go. I Let's am go. Reese Let's go. Let's Langley, go. one go. of the greatest spies of all time. JMSK News, this is Holly Fletcher signing off. Good morning, London. It's another beautiful day in London with JMSK News. First up today is a local report from Tanya Bravo about the reaction of the people on the mayor's new industrial revolution. Tanya? Holly, today I'm downtown in one of the lower income neighborhoods. I'm here to ask the reaction on the mayor's new plan. Hello, miss. I'm Tommy Bronco from the JAMSK News. How is your life changed now that the mayor has instituted this new plan? Hey there. I'm not sure yet. It's only been one day. However, I think my little textile business is in danger of going out of business. One of the ladies down the street is working in that new textile factory. But she says the hours are horrible. Hopefully I don't end up like that. Thanks. Back to you, Holly. At this exact moment, one of our reporters, Grady Overton, is at a protest occurring at a big hardware factory. What's the situation down there, Grady? Pause, 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 Pause,
<laughs> it's getting pretty violent, Holly. From what I can see, these creatures appear to be very angry about something. They aren't doing any labor, and their fists are clenched in a traditional show of discontent. Oh. What is it that they're chanting, Grady? Each group appears to be repeating the same word over and over. Utilitarianism, positivism, and utopian socialism. Uh, these are political ideas of this time that are gaining popularity. The methods of gaining influence over other members of their species is fascinating. Uh, oh, oh, what's this? What's this? They appear to be joining forces, chanting one thing. Universal male suffrage. I'm do you think you could get a meeting with their manager? Funny you should ask, Holly. The manager just came to try and quail the rising levels of protest. I'm going to attempt to communicate with it. Who are you? Hello. I was going to ask why these people are upset. Oh, these people? They're upset because they think I have too much power over them. Those things they're shouting are political ideas that undermine the wealth. Because of their shenanigans, oh, my shipment of tools to the Americans are going to be late. Uh, which political view do you take? Well, personally, I'm a fair, fair type of guy. Adam Smith is a buddy of mine, and I like what he like, has to say about business. Government shouldn't interfere. It all depends on the labor of the people. Something these people, something these people do not understand. Have you tried to appease your fellow creatures at all? The government has these ungrateful little sods. Passing the Factory Act, the Mine Act to protect their children and wives, even even repealing the corn laws to make their food more affordable. My grandfather got rich off of those laws, and they still do nothing but complain. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Can you believe it? This close to such a wild beast. Unbelievable. Isn't that remarkable, Holly? Yeah, sure is. Um, haven't heard from Reese in a while. Reese? Er, uh, hi, Holly. What's up at the convention, Reese? Seen any great inventors lately? Not exactly. You see, I've been detained. Why am I not surprised? Did you manage to find out anything else on your way out? Actually, I did. There's a new system of communication arriving, known as telegraphs. An American, Samuel Morse, has been working on this machine that will connect people across cities, states, maybe even the world. I wonder if he knows Eli Whitney. Who is Eli Whitney? Just another American inventor. Had something to do with the, a cotton kingdom. I'm pretty sure that's a code name for a big cotton industry somewhere in America. But one can never assume. I think Whitney may be an alcoholic because he named his invention the cotton gin. Before I was able to discover exactly how it worked, I was found by the security guards that I was hiding from. I, I mean, evading. Wow, Reese. Good work, I suppose. The station will send in someone to bail you out. Tanya should be back in her middle-class neighborhood by now. Let's check in. Tanya? Why am I here again? You are here for the same lady you talked to yesterday to ask her feelings about the Industrial Revolution, okay? Okay, no problem. What? Hello, miss. It's me again, Tanya Brofo from the JAMSK News. I'm here again today, this time to ask about your feelings about the Industrial Revolution, okay? I need you to be back for me. Paparazzi just can't get enough, can they? My feelings on the Industrial Revolution, you say? Well, things have changed a little bit. My husband won't let me go to work with him anymore because he was promoted to the fourth brand new textile factory. That's okay though, because now I'm super rich. I have total control of my kids and my servants. My husband got a raise. Things are just great, especially consider Considering my rise in fame, of course, you guys can't just get enough of me. Uh, excuse me. Did, did I do that right? Excuse me. Uh, okay. Excuse okay. Excuse me. Okay. Perfect. Well, folks, although Reese is in jail, Grady has apparently achieved one of the greatest scientific accomplishments um, of his life, and Tanya is off celebrating her success of the day. This is still JMSK, and I'm still Holly Fletcher signing off. Have a good night. There.
Wait, what? Perfect. This is the test? Yeah, this is the this test. test. This is the test. Okay. Um, this is me testing. Test, test, test. I'll now whisper. whisper. See if you can whisper. 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 I'm not a very good whisperer. All right, wait, wait, stop. <laughs> chokes you up right good. What do you do? Fill your house with air clogging fumes? Try to gather wood to use as a heat source? Sit in the cold with no heat at all? Well, suffer no more. The technicians at the world of coal have come up with a new and efficient heating source. Coke. With Coke, you can get all the heat of coal, but none of the smoke. Now you can heat your home without having to worry about indoor pollution. Never have another cold night with Coke. You can have your own very own bag of Coke for just $4.99. That's enough Coke to provide heat for six months, baby. But order now, and we'll send you another bag of Coke absolutely free. Just pay $4.99 shipping and handle it. That's a full year of heat over there. All the heating power of coal at half the price, and it's zero smoke. Order, order now. I'm going berserk over here. Ah!